Jack taught me to accept my condition. Of all my foster parents, he was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse. Jack's in the prep room. Huh, weird. I don't remember locking it. The key should be in the office. Here it is. Not sure if I'm ready for this. Hey, Jack. Got your special clip. Snazzy. You wouldn't have it any other way. I didn't expect this to be easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it, it just burns you from the inside out. There. I guess you're ready. What am I? people read the signs it's closed <gasps>
guess you felt it too, huh? And then it happened. As it did so many times before. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. So much for aging gracefully, eh? Where is that thing? Listen, Jack. You should probably get some rest. Forget the notebook. Oh, no, no. I've got so much work, my dear. It's I, okay. I, know, I, I can't just... What? Let it go. Um, it's not important. You... You are crying. What's wrong, dear? <gasps> Why is it so cold in here? <laughs> Joe, where is that? <laughs> it's okay, Jack. It's okay. My sweet little Marianne. What would I ever do without you? <laughs> Jack. Hmm? Don't worry about it. It's time to get some rest. Oh, Marianne. Oh. Worried about the surgery. When I'm at the hospital, are, are you sure you're going to be all right? Yes, Jack. It's going to be fine. Uh, oh, you, you know, I, I promised myself once I would never let anything happen to you. Not while I'm around. I'll be fine. I promise. Uh, <laughs> no risky stuff then. Huh? All right? All right, Jack. Now, get some uh, rest. I need no. Yes. yes. Be, be good, Marianne. Be my child. I've loved you since the moment you walked into my life. Remember that. Most people would give anything to have that opportunity. To say all the things that were left unsaid. But it didn't make things any easier. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. I love you too, Daddy. I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. Divided. Torn between two realities. But, no. I was the only one. Or so I thought. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. Look, if this is a joke, I... You need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is Thomas. I need your help. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> Listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, uh, there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. But I, I need you to trust me. Trust you? I don't even know you. It all starts with a dead girl. What did you say? The Nemo Resort. Find me there. Please. The light, it's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Hello? Hello? Shit. I went on nothing but a hunch. I called from a complete stranger. But I, I learned to trust my, my instincts, and there was something about this guy, his voice. Like I don't know, know it. No other way. He sure seemed to know me. Resort. Right, right off the bat, I could feel there was something off about that place.
Hello? Thomas?